going on, everyone? My name is Patters. What's up, my money mos? My name is Zahidamo. And welcome to our Blaze Black and Vault White Egglock. For those not familiar with the Egglock rules, here they are. When a Pokemon faints, it is to be deposited in a box or released as the Pokemon is considered dead. You can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter in any area throughout the game. And failure to catch them means you can no longer encounter the Pokemon in that area. The egg lock adds an additional rule. Any Pokemon caught must be swapped for an egg given to us by one of you guys. Now to avoid any issues, here are complete instructions to send us eggs. We'll need Pokegen in order to send us an egg. The link for that will be in the description. Step 1. Go to Options and select Target Game, and make sure Pokemon Black slash White is selected. Step 2. Open up Pokegen and select the Pokemon you want to send, and make sure it's a Pokemon that can be legally bred in the game. For example, you cannot legally breed a Scrafty Egg, but you can legally breed a Scraggy Egg. Step 3. You will need to make sure that the Pokemon has legitimate stats. In order to do this, click the F button on screen and set the IVs to whatever you prefer. Make sure the shiny box is checked if you want the Pokemon to be shiny. And you can also change around the abilities, gender, nature, and hidden power type as well. After that, click on search and select the PID that corresponds to the conditions that were entered and click OK. A little warning though, if you click search and the IVs are changed or nothing pops up, you may need to change around some settings to be successful in creating your Pokemon. You can also set nicknames on the egg so that once the egg is hatched, we will use that nickname you gave the egg. Just be sure when nicknaming your Pokemon to click the checkbox after nicknaming it, and only enter nicknames up to 10 characters long. Any more will result in Pokemon having to be re-nicknamed. Finally, when selecting abilities and moves, make sure they're legal. These can be checked on websites such as Bubblepedia, Cerebia, and PokemonDatabase.net. Just remember that the only moves that are permitted are egg moves and moves learned at level 1, because that is the level the Pokemon are being hatching at. Once this is done, just click File and Save Pokemon from Tabs. It will create a .pkm file that you can send us to our emails, which will be on screen right now. And that's all you have to do in order to create the eggs for Egglock. Just be sure to send only one egg. Well, that's how to send in eggs and the rules of an egg lock. We hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see you in the first episode.